welcome everyone to my channel space remote sensing and gis today we will going to uh, discuss a very interesting topic about uh, uh, the radar vegetation indices in arcgis pro okay so specific sar index that will be computed okay so basically the parameter is dynamically update based on the input radar okay so csi will also need to be listed input the radar data contain maybe hv and vv image uh, bands okay so what the radar vegetation index actually so rvi is actually the ratio of a cross polarized backscattering the total backscatter from the all polarized image the value is between 0 to 1 it will come so our rvi value near zero indicate the barren landscape and the large value indicate the vegetated landscape okay so that's what we will try to do over this okay so uh, very first i will show you uh, where you will get the more detailed information about this so i can tell you just please go and refer these sites like compute star indices in image analysis okay so for this you see this is a very important parameter which you required that is uh, uh, that is one is image analysis tool you should have inside your arcgis pro okay and then only uh, it is possible to uh, run over this okay so uh, as of now i'm just uh, uh, you should calculate in a um, uh, computes uh, you have to compute the sar in uh, unit so then only it will calculate but anyway i will just trying to show you how it is actually coming okay so let's open this data first i have one data sets over here okay so see here this is a part of gujarat data sets okay so which i have with me i am just going to give this event shape shift files i just need to open it over here okay so let let it be open uh, this data first yeah this is the data so we will try to consider this particular uh, zone okay so over the water body will be there so we can understand like this water body we can consider it should become black okay and then wherever there is a <coughs> vegetations will be there okay so that may come uh, in your uh, uh, in your high value okay so that is what we consider for this particular analysis okay so for that i am just opening this imagery okay so let open this imagery so that i can understand the scenario at least maybe it will not match exactly with the radar image because it's a different time frame image but at least we can understand the land and uh, <coughs> this um, uh, water body okay so from the radar vegetation indices okay so to doing this you need to go to this analysis tab okay so simply come to this toolbox okay so you have the image analysis tool okay so come to the image analysis tool uh, this is the image analysis tool okay so if you see here under this you have synthetic aperture radar data sets okay so here uh, you can directly analyze this okay like this is there uh, <coughs> like compute sar index which is already there okay so uh, you have to you can calculate directly uh, this one okay so input data data uh, you have to calculate sar units okay so as of now i am just going to give input this to show you how many types of vegetation indices will be there in this particular tool to give you uh, the idea on this okay so you see here radar vegetation indices will be there radar forest degradation index will be there and canopy structure is there so if you want to understand about more these functions so you can go with this formula you can see here what is the radar vegetation index formula is actually hh and hv hv is equal to 4 hv divided by hh plus hv so if you want to calculate this manually so you can do the manually also but obviously you require this <coughs> two types of polarization uh, value okay another one is rvi that is the value from this okay so like vv 4 vh you have a vv plus hv so whatever the polarizations you have so accordingly you need to select that uh, rvi technique so rvi will calculate automatically from this okay now this is what the radar vision index is then another one is the radar forest degradation index so that is basically radar forest uh, normalization differences between the co-polarized and cross polarized backscattering value okay rfdi value is less than 0.3 and indicated a denser forest and moderate rdvi value 0.4 to 0.6 indicate the degraded forest and higher rfdi value which is basically 0.6 to indicate the deforested value okay another one is the canopy structure index which you see here that is csi normalized differential uh, to copolarized backscatter hh and vv 
the value should be range between minus 1 to plus 1 is the commutative value okay so this is what uh, uh, this important so canopy structure index value so that is the another process this is the three so we will try to show you over this radar vegetation indexes okay so let's uh, run this and uh, try to interpret the results how it is coming so i just uh, run this model okay so let's wait for the results okay so then we will going to discuss okay how we can able to uh, do uh, the interpretation over this data thank you let's see let's wait for it sorry for the results first of all it is taking a few minutes time to uh, run this model so almost it is done 50% so once this uh, results will come so uh, we will try to understand about this results okay over water body it should come black or not or in any vegetation area it may highlight it or not okay so that is the way we have to understand obviously this is still not geometry corrected so that we need to do after this processing maybe okay so i will not going to do that but yes this is the results what it is coming okay so we can see this now like as it is not noise corrected image so that's why the noise is coming so we need to correct the noise but anyway uh, as you see that uh, over the water body it is coming black and this is the white area may uh, we have to check uh, uh, what it is actually okay so that we can understand uh, the thing okay so see here this is agricultural land okay so and it is perfectly coming uh, with a uh, high uh, value of vegetation okay so that is what the anyway value should come okay so you see here that is the time maybe this is the time frame image which i taken so that time also the vegetation is over the agriculture field so <clears throat> that value is, is coming higher over this particular so uh, this is the process of how you can do rdbi uh, image okay so uh, you want to calculate if you want to calculate the rbi for some input okay so many purpose we required the vegetation input okay so and this is the rgs pro tool where we can compute it compute the uh, sar indices so i already have a lecture about uh, this color compositions how to create it so we already seen the how to detect the shape using the bright ocean objects okay so <coughs> and uh, uh, maybe we will future we will going to uh, get some uh, video on the detect the ocean area objects okay and extract area water area i already have the lecture so i will request you please go through with that lectures okay so as of now this is the results of this okay so almost all the sar tools we have the explanations in the video so i request everyone please go through my channel and try to understand if you are interested in a sar in a arcgis pro or arcgis pro processing so then definitely come to arcgis pro and check my channel where i explain almost all the types of the sar data processing how we going to do in arcgis pro okay thank you thank you very much so it's a very short video so uh, maybe in future i will come with a more video okay so please support me as you will see that many people are actually watching my videos and uh, they are they are giving a lot of nice comments okay so i will try to address most of you sometime for the less time i may not reply but uh, uh, definitely i will try uh, to reply all of your questions okay so please suggest whatever you want okay from me i will whatever is my knowledge will be there i will accordingly i will try to create a video on that okay thank you thank you very much please subscribe my channel